In this corner of the world, the earth holds its breath. The silence is what gets you. You're not used to it. You come from city life with people who talk fast and honk their cars loud. There's no honking here. Here, the silence construes into a stillness enveloping everything. The deer, eagles, and wind navigate through, all gentle and verse and steady. No language, no need for words like forgiveness. Icicles hang down from the slanted roof. No one witnessed their creation. How long it took to form one drip at a time, only that they exist now, pointing down at the earth. And the trees are the same way. Only job to exist, only purpose to stand tall and be home. More than the cold, you feel the light, how it bends around everything frigid, humming a more. It forces your eyelids closed and face upright. And the snow, of course the snow, a pearly blanket of winter falling into every crevice of the woods, a slate of equality, nothing untouched, no one left out. In this landscape of crisp, quiet coldness, the north is thine. Deep-founded habitation, a house amidst frozen pine. It's your own little title, where white earth bends into the open sky like the slappy watercolor you paint early in the morning. Those hours are when it's coldest, but when you feel most serene. Old firewood burns in an open stove. Their concentric circles of history burn off one by one crumbling into ash as giddy flames dance atop their gravestone. You never knew death could be so beautiful. Here, everything is beautiful. The lake that was once a fluid body of splashing waves and breaking angles, now a frozen stage where no holes break through. Winter at the cabin is a place frozen in time, where the world holds its breath, finally giving you a chance to breathe.